so it's what's been a minute? It's, it's been an hours actually. Yeah, we miss you. I'm glad. I'm glad you agree. It's been hours. In fact, it's been it's been months. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? I'm preparing a tape for you. You know, I cracked a family in the dropping, so just wait on it this month. Yeah. For real. All right. So tell us about this tape. Crater Family, you know, is texting songs. I know my fans miss me, so Crater Family, you know, it's just for y'all, those who miss me, yo. Yeah. Just vibe with me. Well, I mean, the vocal list of the year nomination. Please welcome Miss V. Thank you very much. Congratulations to King Jerry. And next, this one is presented to an Afrobeats, Afropop artist of the year nominee. And this goes to Adise. Amrado, you got nominated in a lot of nominees. Yes, 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 I mean, we have yeah. Reggae dancehall song of the year, hip life hip hop song of the year, hip life hip hop artist of the year, new artist, and then the best rapper of the year. I mean, does this make you heave a sigh of relief? This just tells me that people are watching what I'm doing, and I just have to keep it up. You know, this means I've been welcomed to greatness. I'm so glad for this. It's an honor. People are watching and I have to keep going, I have to keep moving. There is no stopping now, you know, right. yes. So a few days ago, we saw a freestyle uh, that you had with Shatawali, you know, and it's a beautiful freestyle. I mean, should we expect anything from you guys? Sure, definitely. We are working on a song featuring Familia as well, so people should uh, watch out for that song. All right, so I'm here with one of my absolute favorite musicians, Skeche. I mean, I absolutely love Joshua. Andrew is married, so yeah, I'm keeping my distance. <laughs> but you guys, uh, you got nominated in what? It was five nominations. I know we're in for popular song, we're in for collaboration, we're in, we're in for hip life and hip hop, we're in for... Best yeah, best group I've mentioned, we're in for hip life song. I forgot the other one. Yeah, I think five nominations also, yeah. But it's a lot of nominations. And how, how's the feeling? Uh, we thank God. I think, um, I always say this, we've been putting a lot of work and we always want to make sure the fans are on their feet. That's the main motive, that's the main thing. We're not thinking about any plugs, we just want to make sure that we put in good work and make sure that all the time the fans are on their feet. When a plug comes, like any award, it's a plus. Always make sure you're doing the right thing. That's make sure we come up with good songs. So we're happy and we're happy about it. Andrew, Shatawale says we don't have an identity in music. We, as a people, as an industry, we don't have an identity when it comes to music. Um, I think, um, seriously, um, to tell you the truth, I think we don't, but we are now trying to. And I mean, years back then, when we met the high life artists, we do, uh, you know, the two known journeys in Ghana here, the high life and hip life, right? Now we adopted Afrobeat, it's here with us, you understand? When Nigerians sing, Anywhere in the world, once you hear the song, you can easily tell this is a Nigerian. But when a Ghanaian is singing, unless you know the artist, if you don't know the artist, or the artist don't mention his or her name in the song, you don't get to know who this artist is. You understand? I can I easily listen to songs outside Ghana, and sometimes I hear the voice, and I'm able to tell, okay, this is a South African song, or this is a Nigerian song, even if I don't know the name. Now, I think with that, aside with him, and which we are building it up, where room wasn't built in a day, we are building it up, you know what I mean, for we need to just find our sound and then find an identity of the way we look, the way we sound out there. Somebody should be able to listen to a song without mentioning Keche in it. They should say this is a, this is a Keche song. It's been a minute, where have you been? Um, I've been on the low, working on another project. Um, it's quite unfortunate I haven't dropped anything this year, but when I Why haven't you? Is it because of that? Yeah. When I go silent, other than there's something coming. Yeah. So <laughs> something deadly, yeah. Yeah, you know how we do it. Um, good records. That's what we're all about. You know what I mean? So yeah, definitely. So Le I mean, uh, let's talk a, a little bit about your 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 friend Shatawale. A little bit about him. So you know, recently he came out with the state of the industry address. Uh, did you follow it? Um, first and foremost, he's more of like a father, um, a friend though, but I, I would call him a father because he has, I've been more of like a protege to him before, you get me? Yes, I did. I saw, I chanced on a little bit of it on social media. Um, yeah, I saw it. And did you, did you, did you agree with most of the things he said? I think they, they are personal, personal opinions. Um, you know, you can't deny the fact that 
you have people with culture and people with specific sound. So then is he trying to tell me that Wulame never existed? What of those CBC, what of all that? If the message is that um, we have an identity, but then we have to push it further to take it to the world, then I think um, it makes sense like that. But if we don't, we are not really recognized for anything, then I think it's not really worth it. You get what I mean? So then, um, most of the artists who, or some of us when we travel around the world, as much as we call ourselves dancehall artists, we are known for Afrobeat. You know, so if Nigerians who say they claim Afrobeat, then I think it's fair we go back to high life. And I've always said this one, that um, there's nothing like Afro dancer. No disrespect to anybody who does Afro dancer, but I think if we're able to coin a name for it, it is fine. What happened to hip life? What happened to Azonto? Is it a journal? If it is, or it was, then I think we need to actually push further. So I side with him and then I don't. All right, so I'm here with the Ecoso crooner, hit maker, Kofi Jamar. Uh, we spoke a while ago, some time ago, and uh, today you're here with another, you know, certificate to show. Show your certificate. I mean, let them let them see what, yeah. So you got nominated in the new Artist of the Year for the Ghana Music Awards USA. Tell, tell me about how this makes you feel. Yeah, it's a wonderful feeling, you know, to be accepted by this scheme and it's a very powerful scheme you know kind of music i was you uh usa and everything is going cool and i'm proud my people are proud and i'm representing them right so i'm here with a beautiful wendy shea wendy just came out with a beautiful album shea and star yeah right shea and star right yeah, yeah. I mean, how's it doing it's doing amazing it's exclusively on boom play and trust me the the numbers are just shooting up 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 it's, it's actually yeah by god's grace Grace's everything is working fantastic. yeah right yeah were you are you were you surprised by the kind of you know reactions it got i would say i yeah quite yeah it's overwhelming i i knew it was going to do good but i didn't expect this numbers you know i didn't expect the kind of feedback that i'm getting it's you know it's very satisfying to to see people appreciate your work you know your hard work and effort so yes i'm very grateful yeah. definitely so let's have a very personal conversation now um you're an artist that i see so much growth in you have grown so much in fact in my little year of being in the media you're one of the artists that i'd say came to meet me and uh you've grown a lot what do you think really has contributed to your growth? I'll say um, the challenges that I faced. Um, I see challenges to be opportunities now. And um, the challenges that I faced, it wasn't smooth. They say that um, a, a good sailor becomes a good sailor if he or she faces a lot of storms and overcomes them. That is how you become very skillful. So I'll say that, yeah, what I faced in the industry has really built my character. Whenever that we have a show or, or a meeting that he doesn't show up, it's because of Sarko there. Okay. So I felt like I, I some way sacrificed my time, mm -hmm. my work also for him to mm -hmm. make his work easier. Like, yeah, mm. you know, so I was, I felt like he, he should have been able to do more okay. because I felt I, I did something, you know, at least to, to support him too, you know, because I've been, um, I've gone to shows that I, I, I wasn't like able to, to perform mm. because my manager wasn't around yeah. to coordinate whatever. You That's for CG. Yeah. Mm. And at that time he was with SAC. Okay. He told me that and I agreed to it. Mm. So I felt like I, at least he should be able to support his boy, you know. So that's the whole thing that I, I tried to talk about. Mm. But he took it the other way. And the response that I got was, we, we had another song. That was, um, that's on my my EP. Yeah. That I was supposed to release last month. Mm -hmm. But then the response I got after the video was that the song that we did after the social me media, he doesn't want his to be on the song, on the song again. Okay. So you should take his, his part song. of Nautica and Possible had a fine working relationship and as you know, 
we work with Possible as well. We have a very fine working relationship with Possible as well. So I can I can easily and confidently say that Nautica's work was prioritized uh, in house internally. It was top priority for SAC to uh, do the verse, the verses, and I mean be there to to support um, Possible and Nautica because they were both working together. Now, mind you, there were two different verses done. And that should give you a clear signal that this person definitely is a big deal. If not, Sark will not do two verses for one person, two different verses for two different songs for one person. But, I mean, fast forward, um, Nautica uh, went online. He, and it's okay to vent and put out what your feelings, your personal sentiments. It's, it's okay. Sometimes just the approach and the tone, choice of words, language, and everything. Sometimes it's just basic respect. You put it in there. My issue was, I, I want to stay clearly to Nautica. And he knows. He, I, I heard in his interview, he's saying when he, he, he spoke to Sark, he spoke to Sark, he went to tell Sark he wanted to put the verse out, and Sark said, take it out. He hasn't spoken to Sark. Sark hasn't been contacted about uh, putting a verse. It was me they came to speak to. And I said frankly to his guys that if even Sark decides to allow this verse to work, I will stop working with Sark. I won't allow for the verse to be on his record. And I also added that the fact that Sark is on the record doesn't mean Sark is not a magician. It doesn't guarantee that the song will be the biggest song. We have done so many features that were in the best songs. We have done features that were like major breakthroughs for people. But it's not because we are the top top. That's why I said we won't do the best. I just felt that there's, there's been a very high level of disrespect.